morning, everybody. I'm just taking Baron back to his pasture with the other colts this morning. Just wanted to give you an update on what's happening with Lady. Um, for you viewers that have been following my channel closely, you know that I have a Belgian mare that I was I'm thinking about getting bred. And this here is Baron. He's a, a Suffolk stallion and that I just recently purchased. He's three years old and he's been doing great with a bunch of different things I've been working with him on. Um, and he was able to breed Lady a little over three weeks ago now. And so with horses, you can get them bred, but you don't know if they settled for a while after they're bred. So it's been, the three week period is gone and about 15, 16 days after she was bred, I brought Baron back over to start putting him with her to see if she's gonna be in heat again. At about 17 days, she was in the barn and she was just showing signs like, oh my goodness, she's definitely gonna be in, she's definitely coming into heat. And then we tried him with her and she was just kicking. So we kept after him for every single day to see if she would breed and she stopped showing any signs of heat and she just did not show signs of heat so he, we didn't breed her again. Now that doesn't say for sure that she's bred but it surely makes it a greater possibility that she is bred. I could I suppose get a vet to come and do an ultrasound but that costs a lot of money. Oh. And I'm not even positive that's an option, although I think it is, and I might consider it. But uh, generally, the mare will come into heat if she's not bred, and she has not seemed to have done that, at least not in the good heat she had the first time around. So we're gonna hope for the best. And uh, he's out here now with his, his brothers, and they're somewhere in the pasture. He's used to this pasture, so he'll find them eventually. And so he's, he's fine. So we will get back because we have a lot of haying to do today and we'll kind of fill you in on that as we go along. Good morning, everybody. I am going to be putting hay into the barn this morning. Jim bailed this last night. It was pretty late when he got done. And he had to stack two loads of hay before we could put this in today. He did it all by himself because I was at a graduation party. We also had a funeral we went to yesterday, so it was a very busy day along with haying. This will also have to be stacked later because Jim is going to be out um, mowing more hay this morning. We have another nice stretch of weather coming. He wants to get some hay down. As well as uh, what we have to get into the barn today. So he's got a lot of things to do. And there goes the hay up into the hay barn on our elevator. So it's mid-morning and Jim's out mowing some hay with Lady and Bill. This will be ready to go in a couple days. Tomorrow's Sunday so we'll be taking the day off and this will be drying. And as you can see, and as you can see, it's really quite thick and long. He's just putting down a small patch because we can only handle so much with the two of us.
How's it going? Good. Nice mowing, huh? Yep, it is. Nice stuff. Yeah. I'll go finish that triangle piece, then come back down, finish up this, and I'll be done. Yep. That's that. Abby's stopped by, and she's going to help us a little bit today before she goes up to her house and works on that. But right now, um, we're headed out to the field where we are going to be bailing up, and here's the hay that can cut this morning. And what Abby and I are going to do right now is uh, we have a couple of broken bales that I didn't get to. Um, well, when I was unloading the hay, um, these were in the wagon still. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kick it off into the field and then Jim can bale it up again. Bill and Buck. And Jim said Bill is probably going to drive Abby crazy because he likes to go so fast. How does he feel right now, Abs? Ah, uh, well, I feel like I'm pulling on that side a lot just to make it. I'm supposed to be straddling the windrow. Yeah. But Dad's words were, your left hand is going to be dead by the end. So. Yeah. Really made me look forward to it. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it's not too too big of a field. But I just tatted it, and it didn't take that long. But how long did it take? I don't know. It's still before lunch, so no, no, I don't. Probably about an hour. I don't know. I think I got here at ten, maybe. Yeah. So, I don't think much more than an hour. These guys are rolling right along. with you. Oh, not much. Just busy haying. Get busy haying or get busy dying, I always say. Busy haying what? Get busy haying or get busy dying. Yeah, right. That's what you always say. <laughs> I, I think the phrase is get busy living or get busy dying, but... Uh. So Jim's gone back to the barn to get Lady and Ken, and he's going to cultivate with them, which is right next, right next door here. So we'll get some footage of that in a little bit. So there's Jim. He's out with Lady and Ken, starting on the cultivating. How are your hands doing? Uh, they're fine as long as they stay curled up. Yeah, when you straighten them out, it's going to hurt. Yeah. I told her I'd give her a break if she needs it. It's nice to have all four horses out here in the field at one time.
As you can see, the soil still looks pretty wet. How's it going? You gotta really pay attention to what you're doing. that time. Good. This hay is really dry. Well, it's been a trying day here on the farm. We've had a lot of breakdowns with Baylor again. Um, but he's going to be done soon. I'm up here on the top of a, uh, a wagon. I'm not sure if we're going to get it unloaded tonight. So I'm just going to um, flatten out the bales so they aren't above the top of the wagon so that we can back it into the building if we need to. Um, we've already unloaded a few wagons, but we want to make sure we can get everything under cover tonight in case we can't get it unloaded. Well, thanks for coming along with us today. Uh, farming can be a very trying way to make a living sometimes, but I know we'll get it done. And the good times outweigh the bad, so we're just going to hang in there. Have a great day.